Hey y'all, today I am sharing five DIYs under $5 each. And in fact, all the DIYs put together are probably less than $5. So I used a lot of my stash and scrap wood and I can tell you how to get like free scrap wood and things like that, but you'll have to watch the video to find out. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I'm kicking this off with a super easy one. It's super easy, but it also turns out super cute. I got these wood slices from Hobby Lobby and I've shared this tip before, but there are wood slices in the wood shop section of Hobby Lobby, but don't get them there. Instead, go over to the wedding section and check out the wood slices there because every other week or so, it's been like three weeks lately, I think. But anyway, this section goes on sale and it's 40% off. The sale in the wood shop area only applies to items $4.99 and up, and the wood slices there are only $4.49, so obviously it's a better deal in the wedding section shop section. Anyways, sometimes you can find wood slices at Dollar Tree, but they are actually less expensive when you find them on sale at Hobby Lobby. So take one of those wood slices and paint it with the color of your choice, and you see the little white rabbit up there on the right side? I got that in a pack of like six or eight from Dollar Tree, and I painted it white, and now guess what? you are basically done with this DIY. All that was left to do is hot glue the bunny on the wood slice and add a cute bow and there you have it. It's hard to estimate how much this one cost me because all the materials were not purchased individually or anything and I didn't use all of the supplies that they came in so I'm estimating maybe a dollar total for everything. I mean that's not too bad for a super cute DIY. This is the five under five dollar challenge and it's a monthly playlist hosted by my friends Missy from Crafty Cove DIY Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and this month's guest host is Dawn from Designs by Gaddis. And I just, I love this challenge because it pushes me to create things and not spend a whole lot, which is kind of like my jam, budget DIYs. So um, check out the playlist that'll be linked below, as well as the links to the host and co-host channels. This is gonna be DIY number two, and this is another super easy one. Take a scrap piece of wood, and I happen to have some leftover fencing material that I use in a lot of my DIYs, but you can find scrap wood lots of places. Construction sites often have like a trash bin where they put the scraps in. Now don't go, don't go and just take wood, and for sure ask before you take anything. But like I said, there's usually a bin where they're tossing trash and leftover material into. And you could also see if someone's putting up a fence and maybe has some leftover material there. And sometimes at the home improvement store over by where they cut the wood for you, um, Oh, wait, okay, so did you know that they cut wood for you? Well, they do. They usually will cut wood, like do two cuts for free. Anyways, over there, they will sometimes have pieces of wood left over and you can ask the employees how much they're selling it for. Like sometimes it's a dollar or something and sometimes they'll just give it to you for free. So yeah, these are at least some ideas for you. Anyway, take a scrap piece of wood. The size is gonna depend on how big you want this to be and how big the rabbit we're gonna make in the next DIY will be. But this is the size that I'm doing and I'm painting it all over with white. And the only other step is to add a decal, but I'll show you that step when I do the reveal of DIY number three, which is what we're starting right now. This is scrap fencing material again that I sanded smooth and I'm tracing out a bunny shape. I then take it to the garage and I cut it out and <laughs> I didn't film myself doing that because, I mean, if you want to see me cutting wood for like two plus minutes straight, then watch my last video because when I watched it back, I totally forgot to edit that clip. So like I said, it's like two plus minutes of me just cutting wood in my garage and it's probably enough for everybody like for you to last a year of watching me cut wood. So anyways, I'm just tracing out that shape and I cut it out and again, this is I mean, this is so easy. It's going to be like, is this really a DIY? So I painted this shape all over with a mixture of burnt umber and espresso bean. And I thought it would give it a nice chocolatey color. And I'm trying to make this look like a chocolate bunny. And I think it's looking pretty good so far. And I didn't prep this piece or prime it or anything. So if you do that, the paint won't soak in as much and it'll give you a more richer, consistent color. But this is what I did. Now, this is the finished DIY number two and three. I added an eye for the bunny and the scrap wood, I added that decal that said chocolate bunnies, 50 cents. Now you could add a bow or something, but I actually like the simpler look on this and I'm setting it up in my bathroom shelves and I still have several DIYs to add to it, but I'm loving the finished look. The bunny and the sign are scrap wood, so it's hard to figure out a cost for that. The paint I had on hand and the vinyl is also just scrap vinyl that I had left over from other projects. And I'm figuring, I don't know, maybe a dollar for that one. 
I wanted to pop in here and share about my crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. It's free to join and the link's going to be in my description box below and I'd love it if you join. Share a project you're working on. Let's support and encourage each other in this crafting world. We are in the home stretch and this is another piece from my stash. It's actually the back of a sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I had removed it but in true Lisa fashion I kept it just in case and today is a just in case kind of DIY day. So I'm painting it with this vivid pink color and I did have to give it two coats to even out the color and um, I could talk longer on this part but really there's not much more. <laughs> I'm painting it, that's it. And as you can see, I added a vinyl decal that says Bunny Crossing and all I did was go into Design Space, I made a square shape and added the words Bunny and Crossing and I found a bunny shape that I liked and I attached them all together cut them out and I put it on the little sign that I painted. And again, from my stash, I had this craft stick that I think came from one of those signs like you use at a wedding or something as a fan. And if you don't have that in your stash, and I mean, really, why would you? But <laughs> you can use a large craft stick and it'll do the trick just fine. I hot glued it in the back, on the back and then I'm hot gluing some tower tumbling blocks to the bottom to help it stand up. And I'll show you the finished product or er, finished DIY in just a second. This is the last DIY, y'all. I'm tracing out another bunny shape onto the scrap piece of fencing material from a stash. I mean, that's obvious, so <laughs> let's just get to the fun part of DIY number five. Y'all probably remember me complaining about how thick this paint was. Well, I added water and quite honestly, probably a bit too much water because now it's runny, but I'd rather have runny than like gloppy. So here we are. And again, no footage of me cutting it out, but as you can see, me painting it all over with this white paint. We're doing another plaid paint job, but I kind of messed it up. Well, I mean, not really, but kind of. So I put the tape down and I paint the first layer with yellow paint. I put the tape down in the opposite direction and I meant to paint another coat of yellow, but as you can see, I whipped out the vivid pink and that's what I do next. I did remember to mark where the first tape was and then I put that tape back on and now was the time I was gonna add the pink. I was hoping to create kind of like an orange color but anyway that's not what happened and that's okay it still looks cute when it's done and now it's time to add the line that makes it plaid like versus buffalo check this is calypso blue and i just love the contrast and i honestly love how it all turned out and it's hard to say how much this one cost because again it was scrap wood and paint i had on hand so i don't know maybe a dollar and i think it's a stretch to say that so i don't know maybe a dollar fifty for both diy number four and five i i don't know let me know what y'all think this turned out so super cute and so budget friendly. I could stain the bottom, but I kind of like the raw wood. Y'all have to let me know what you think below. Thank y'all so much for joining me today as I craft and create. I really do appreciate the company. And I hope you enjoyed the DIYs that I made today. Don't forget, links are in the description box below. And sure hope you check it all out to get some inspo for yourself on a budget. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram, my handle is Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!